people who are as tall as they are wide and gentlemen I'm going to debunk another janitorial video uh, oh actually folks I got chastised by McCain Mr. X she is not a, jan a janitor she is a custodial engineer okay so uh, and she's got a video up of, I need to mention one thing for every one time she talked or plugged to Bernie Sanders or talked about him she mentioned Hillary Clinton five times probably I've got a whole bunch of screenshots from her on the other dude productions channel autistically talking up Hillary Clinton even long before the Iowa caucus and it's because the media was and you know the Democrats were in the tank for her not that Bernie's a good guy I mean he's a lazy bum and an idiot but he was a lot better than Hillary because he was a lot less of a warmonger he was against the Patriot Act he voted against some cronyism and uh, well the powers that be wanted Bernie uh, so they did everything they could to undermine him and um, McStupid was just she's just an insignificant janitor who just uh, went along with the antique media tidal wave for Hillary so she uploaded this cut and paste video and again this is a, this is typical McCain's through X a cut and paste video where she cuts and pastes a video segment off the internet because she's got free time sit around all day and copy this crap and uh, go I watch this stupid video and you should too I don't care that Bernie had a kid with another woman again I don't give a dang about that either um, what they do mention <laughs> I don't know if stupid actually watched what she uploaded they kind of mentioned that Bernie was a lazy bum and didn't if it wasn't for uh, if there were no government jobs Bernie probably would be living on skid row right now uh, he he was a terrible carpenter uh, he was terrible with his hands not that I'm incredibly mechanically inclined but he was basically a lazy bum and if he was 25 again he couldn't do my job uh, he's not he wouldn't be physically capable and he's just lazy so personally I think Bernie's a lazy bum uh, I think he's a low life so and they even mentioned that Bernie he had a hard time getting jobs well he's kind of lazy so somehow there must have been a lot of uh, <clears throat> in Burlington Vermont in the late 70s and early 80s there must have been a lot of bums uh, that just coalesce around his campaign the common man campaign the uh, pay Peter with Paul's money campaign well if you're paying Peter with Paul's money you're gonna have a lot of people named Peter voting for you and that'll be the crux of this video uh, <laughs> Bernie that's his whole campaign now again he was a lot better than Hillary Clinton he's crazy but he would have been a lot better than Hillary Clinton uh, because again he's against the Patriot Act he has some anti-war monger tendencies and he votes against cronyism a lot of times uh, Hillary Clinton on the other hand uh, not so much but again McCain Mr. X just went with the antique media so every one time she threw a bone to Bernie Sanders just for the heck of it uh, she was flapping her lips uh, incessantly on YouTube 24-7 about Hillary so uh, I did see an interesting screenshot from some idiot named 487 Sean said all I need to before we get to the main event all I, all I need to know about Bernie is he is not a millionaire after 40 years in politics because he can't get a real job <laughs> whereas Bill and Hillary now notice this guy goes after Bill and Hillary Bill and Hillary after leaving Arkansas we're almost bank where we're almost bankrupt not really and now worth over a hundred million dollars in politics so who is a sellout pardon his French and McCain is through X basically agrees that are damn right and well said and she even says all the other candidates wish to profit in one way or another so why are you voting for Hillary why aren't you voting for oh Jill Stein McCain is through X because Jill Stein's gonna pay you with other people's money too Jill Stein has a lot in common with Bernie Sanders but McCain is through X is supporting the uh, well-heeled corrupt cronyist Hillary Clinton I find it weird that McCain is through X agree damn rotten well said all the other candidates that includes all the Democrats who wish profit one way or another by the way uh, if you Democrats weren't warmongers and had half a brain you would have nominated Martin O'Malley who was uh, the anti-war candidate on your side but like you did to Howard Dean in 2004 you shunned the anti-war candidate for a war monger and Obama turned into a war monger shortly after he became president so now getting to the main event and what I'm gonna focus on is uh, from fiscal year 1962 and I'll have all the links below where I cover all this in great detail now again 
I don't cut and paste any of this. This is my actual research. I put it in my own words. Not like McCain's through X who would scour the internet all day looking for some sound bite from some idiot who says something that sounds intelligent that she could throw up on there. Not throw up as in vomit, but throw up on her channel and pretend to be smart. From fiscal year 1962 through fiscal year 1981, Democrats control Congress entirely. So those of you who actually understand civics know that Congress holds the purse strings and Congress is the lawmaker. No alphabet soup agency or the executive branch can spend a dime without Congress and all spending bills must emanate in the House. There's a little schoolhouse rock for you uh, progressives out there who think the president is a dictator. During the fiscal year 1962 through 1981 time frame, which Democrats controlled Congress entirely, the national debt, I erroneously said prior, it was never balanced during that time frame. It was balanced once, increased every year, except fiscal year 1969. Spending per capita increased by $3,100. Get that? Spending per capita increased by $3,100 from fiscal year 1962 through 1981 adjusted for inflation. So they didn't use it to pay down the debt. All it means, and the national debt per capita went down, but all that means is the debt was growing a lot slower than the population. And our birth rate has fallen a lot since the late 50s, early 60s. And even in the early, even in the 70s and early 80s, our birth rate was higher. So that doesn't mean, oh, Democrats did a great job. I know they did. No, they did. <clears throat> Plus, they just foisted upon us a whole bunch of crap that we can't pay for today. So I have tons of videos and links below. Some of the videos cover a lot of data, such as effective income tax rates for all income tax quintiles, and specifically for millionaires. Percentage of all federal outlays by various categories, such as defense, interest payments, welfare outlays for payments to individuals, etc. Food stamp rolls, labor force participation rates, government jobs as a percentage of all private non-farm payroll jobs, etc. And here's specific. For the fiscal year 1962 through 1981 time frame, where the budget was balanced one time, spending per capita increased by over 3,100 per person. And we got all these social programs. So all they did, government will always spend what you give them and then some. So small government is cheaper government, which is a, if you're not paying for it, that's a pretty good deal, if you're not paying for it. So during that fiscal year 1962 through 1981 time frame, the top personal income tax rate was greater than 70% for that time frame. Long-term capital gains rate was greater than 30%. Payroll taxes almost quadrupled, and I've got a video on Social Security and how that was even in deep trouble in 1973. You can go back and see this, this high tax regime didn't work. This golden era of high tax rates didn't work. Again, top personal income tax rate was greater than 70% for the fiscal year 1962 through 1981 time frame. Long-term capital gains rate was greater than 30%. Payroll taxes almost quadrupled from 1950 to 1975. Labor force participation rate was much higher in the 50s and 60s than recent decades. That's another problem they don't focus on. All income quintiles from 1950 to, through most of the 80s had a positive effective income tax rate. Now, around 45% of all federal income tax filers have no federal income tax liability. About a third filer returns simply to get money back. Interest payments as a percentage of all federal outlays were much lower fiscal years 1962 through 1981 than during Reagan, Bush 41, and Bill Clinton. Obama and Bush 43 have had much lower interest rates and lower interest payments as a percentage of all federal spending. I've got videos on that. The next president will not be so lucky. Out of wedlock births, in addition, were much, much less prominent in the 50s and 60s than they've been in recent decades. Federal transfer payments to individuals as a percentage of all federal spending was less than 24% in the 1950s. Today, they are almost two-thirds of all federal outlays. So Bernie Sanders' whole... It's not his entire campaign, but it's the most prominent part of it, let's face it. Or it was. It will still be this idiot. We'll still be flapping his gums about it. Raising income tax through the roofs on successful people, i.e. people who had private jobs in the private, in, jobs in the private sector, which Bernie didn't do very well at, 
Jacking up those tax rates will not balance the budget because we've got a much lower labor force participation rate today. We redistribute tons of income and there's a lot of broken families. I hate to be the dead horse, but a lot of single moms, if the father's not there, it's gonna be tougher. And and why do I have to pay for it again? Oh yes, I know. I'm I'm some for some reason uh, they have uh, they think they deserve something because they exist. So basically there's no way Bernie's going to balance the budget. He has no intention, and neither does Hillary. So uh, that's probably McCain and Sue X's biggest argument, the one argument, because it's really simple, and she can just autistically recite, raise taxes on the rich, raise people taxes on people, uh, people who uh, make more money than me, which is pretty much everybody. So uh, no, it's not going to work when you get down into the down and dirty details. It will fail, but it sounds good because it's short, snappy, and even an idiot can recite it and sound half intelligent. So, and by the way, McCain is through. Actually, you're not blocked from my channel. Anytime you want to come over here and have me uh, correct you, I will do so because I will own you and uh, I will humiliate you on any subject I choose to engage you in, period. Have a nice day and don't thank me now for correcting you, janitor.